In part 4 of our build guide, we remove accessories from the engine bay and drop the powertrain. Start by removing the powertrain control modules. Unlock and disconnect the TCM connector by pushing in on the black tab and flipping the gray lever. Push the plastic tabs out of the way to remove the TCM. Next, disconnect the ECM plugs. Slide the red lock tab out, push the black tab in, and then move the black lever over. Repeat this process for the lower ECM plug. Remove the ECM. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove the positive cables from the fuse block. Use a screwdriver to release the power steering plug. Use a 7 mm socket to loosen the 5 multi plugs. You will need to spin the bolts a few extra turns to allow them to fully disengage from their threads. Next, press each bolt down to free the plugs from the fuse block. Now remove the fuse block by carefully prying out the four lock tabs with a screwdriver. Use a firm grip or a screwdriver to move the five multi-plugs from the housing. Free any remaining cables that are connected to the fuse block housing. Use a 13 mm socket to loosen the two bolts located at the lower front of the fuse box housing. Pry up the push nut with a screwdriver and then remove it with wire cutters. Use a pry bar to remove the remaining push nut. Remove the fuse box housing. Next, we are going to remove the coolant tank. Start by cutting the wire clamp near the top. Next, remove the hose clamp from the bottom of the coolant tank. Use a large screwdriver to give the lock tab more clearance. Then pry out the tab and remove the tank. Now we need to remove the headlamp harness. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the ground and then disconnect the plug next to it. Pry the wire clamp away from the core support. Then remove the ground wire near the washer fluid cap. Reach through a hole in the front of the core support and cut the wire clamp located near the washer fluid bottle. Disconnect the wires from the washer fluid bottle and the horn. Remove the horn. Remove the ground wire from the left frame rail. The core support of your donor is probably still intact, so work your way across it, removing wire clamps as you go. Unplug the yellow plug from the airbag sensor at the center of the core support. Pry off the wire clamps from the passenger side of the core support. Remove the headlamp harness. Free the plug from the firewall near the brake reservoir and disconnect it. Remove the wiper motor plug from the firewall. Remove the plug from the brake reservoir. Use a 10 millimeter to remove the ground near the hood prop mount. Squeeze the two stainless tabs together and then pull straight up to remove the transmission cable housing. Pull straight up to remove the transmission cable end. Remove the EVAP line by pressing on the white plastic lock. Use pliers to remove the brake booster vacuum hose from the intake manifold.
Now is a good time to move some of the wires and hoses out of harm's way. It will also make it easier to see what we are working on next. Now we need to cut the heater hoses that run from the engine to the firewall. Coolant will drain from these hoses so you will need to place a container under the car. Use tin snips or a sharp knife to cut the hoses near the firewall. Next we will be separating the exhaust near the middle of the car. Use a 15 mm socket to remove the two nuts and then pull the exhaust apart. Push a dolly under the engine and transmission as shown and centered left to right. Place two 2x4s on each side to give the dolly enough height to clear the legs of an engine hoist. Attach a length of chain to the two lift hooks located on the cylinder head. Place the hoist over the engine, being careful not to move the dolly underneath. Hook onto the chain above the number 3 coil pack. Start lifting the engine until it has a fair amount of force on it. Remove the three bolts on the engine side. As you get close to removing the last bolt, it should start to feel loose. If not, you may need to lift the engine a little more. Remove the bolts on the transmission side. Again, as you get close to removing the last bolt, it should start to feel loose. If not, you may need to lift the engine a little more. As you lower the powertrain, constantly check around it to make sure everything is loose and clear. Lower the engine down until it sets flat on the dolly and the chain is loose. Remove the engine hoist and roll the powertrain out. In the next video, we'll strip out the interior of the donor and remove the dash.